welcome back to my PC Java class. Today we will discuss about the number programs in Java. That means when we get a number, how can we check whether it is a special number or not? That means uh, sometimes it may be a prime number, sometimes it may be a true number, sometimes it may be a perfect number or only one number like that. Different different categories are there in number system. Oh, sorry, number type. Okay, then how can you check whether the number is the uh, separate, that means whether the number is an even type or a happy number, like that number. Okay, uh, then uh, before studying these things, uh, we have to know about the basic things of the number system. That means we all know, already we studied the different types of number system. If you are not studied, please check my video. I will give the link. Uh, after the uh, in the description box uh, about the number system already i had done um, okay if you are not subscribed my channel you please subscribe then only you will get the previous videos okay then we all know we have four types of number system what are they binary number system decimal number system octal number system and hexadecimal number system then we are working with now we are working with the decimal number system that means uh, the in the, uh, the our number system's base is 10 okay then how can you construct a number for you? This one with an example. Can you consider one number as 364? Then how can you separate this number? Again, I will write like this. This is equal to 300 plus 60 plus 4. That means this is in 10th, 100 place. This is in 10th place. This is in 1's place. Again, I will write like this. 3 into 100 plus 6 into 10 plus 4 into 1. Then once more I write 10, 100. How can you convert this 100? 10 raised to 2 plus 10 square. 6 into 10 raised to 1 plus 4 into 10 raised to 0. 1 is equal to 10 raised to. When the power is 0, then that we can equate to 1. Okay. Uh, the power of one number. Okay. Then we know uh, first time the power of 10 is 0. Again 1 then 2. Like this way this increasing. That means uh, when you take the thousands place uh, you can write it as the in terms of 10 raised to 3. Like that way it is increasing. Okay. We can separate the number like this way. That means uh, 10 is the base of uh, decimal number system. But here I want to separate the digits from the given number. That means uh, I need this like this way 3, 6, 4. I need these digits from this number. How can you do this one? Do you have any idea which operation we will do to separate the digits from a number? Okay, we all know 10 is the base. If you do this operation 364 with the Divide with the 10. You will get the coherent as 36. And you will get the remainder as 4. See this operation. If you do this operation, you can easily separate the first digit. Okay. That means to get this reminder, we are doing which operation? Which operation do you remember? 364 more 10. If you are doing with this, uh, if you are working with this operator, you will get the remainder. Okay, that means uh, <coughs> modulus operator is used to get the remainder. Okay, understood all of you. But again, I need to separate this second digit. How? If you do this operation again, again, again and again, you won't get the second digit. Then, you have to take the quotient. To get the quotient, I will take that operation also. That means with the divide with the 10, you will get the 36. This is step 1. Then step 2. In step 2, what we will do? 36 I will take with 10. I will take the word. Okay. Then you will get how? I will show you. 10 3 times 36 is the reminder. It means 6 also you will get. Okay. First time you got a. 4 next time 6. Okay. Then 2 digits you got. Again. The same process we are continuing. Again I have to take the quotient. For that purpose I am doing this operation again. You will get a 3. Okay. 
then in step 3 I need to continue this one also 3 mod 10 then you will get a 3 how I will show you 3 mod 10 then you will get 0 is a quotient 0 then 3 is the reminder see we got the third digit also again to stop this process we are doing 6 3 by 10 you get a 0 then when you met a 0 stop the process okay up to there we can do this operation that means uh, you have to give the logic to the computer to do a program this is a simple logic to separate a digit separate digits from a number this is the same process we are continuing how can you do, apply this process to in terms of java with the help of loops if you are doing the same process we can apply the loops now already we studied about loops Okay, to continue an infinite process, we can use these loops. Uh, finite process also, when you make the condition, up to there you can continue the same process. That is what is called a loop. Okay, then we have to, uh, Java provides for loop, while loop, do while loop. To do this program, I am using while loop. We know, uh, for the while loop, in the case of while loop, first we will write the initial value. And the statement is, uh, sorry, uh, keyword is y. In bracket, we are giving the condition. Condition means uh, up to where we have to work. In in, um, in the curly bracket, we have to give the statements. I will show how it will work. Okay. I think all of you understood this process. If you uh, st try to study this one, you can easily do the number programs. This is the basic thing. Okay. What is our question then? How can you separate or how to separate digits from the given number using a Java program? That is our question. For doing this one, first you have to create a class. With the help of a scanner class, I am doing this one because of that import java.util star. Okay. Then class is separate digit. Class separate digit. Then again, um, we have to create a function while um, digit. Okay. In bracket. Um, then without uh, any arguments we are giving a bracket then open the curly bracket and we have to create a scanner class scanner is, is equal to new scanner bracket system dot okay after that we need to read a number with the help of a scanner class object okay int n is equal to sc dot next int Okay, bracket. Then, understood all of you this statement. Okay. Then after that, what's the next step? Um, we need a variable to store the separate digits. For that purpose, I am taking a variable as d. Okay, d is equal to 0. The initial value also had given. Okay. Then, after that, we can start the while loop. In bracket, I am giving the conditionals in greater than 0 that means whenever uh, process that means the condition is false it will stop the process then open the curly bracket okay you can open the curly bracket what's the first step the same process i am doing here also this is the digit to store this uh, digits we are using this d then here 364 is the number but our number is n here for the program then the same operation I am doing in mod 10. Okay, semicolon. Then I need to print the digits, digit. When I get this digit, I need to print that one. System dot out dot print. I am using only print statement to get the all the digits in same line, the same line. Okay, D plus in between double inverted comma and comma also I am giving. Okay, then after that we need to give the second step. What is the second step? N is equal to N by 10. Then close the bracket. That's all. It will repeat up to 0. That means the first, see, the first process we will continue like this. Then print the 4. Then again N is equal to 364 by 10. Again it will check the condition. 36 is greater than 10. Understood all of you? Then the condition is true. It will again uh, you continue the process 36 mod 10 then you will get a 6 also will be printed then again 36 divided by 10 3 3 is greater than 0 
again it will continue the process addition is true uh, 3 mod 10 then you will get a 3 then it will be printed then again 3 by 10 0 after that the condition then now 0 is not greater than 0 the condition is false then it will stop the program it will terminate the program the compiler will go to the end understood all of you how it will work it's a simple thing if you understand, try to understand this one you can easily do all the uh, number programs all of you please try to study this one this is very simple okay, all of you understand this one then we can do the next program if you like this one please do share to and if you want to get the notification of next video next we are doing the next type of pro, uh, number program so if you want to get that one please try and press on the bell button if you want to get my previous videos please subscribe my channel don't forget to subscribe my channel don't forget to share this video to your friends. Thank you. We will meet in the next video.